सो हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक सो नाउ विल डिस्कस अबाउट लीनियर मॉडल एजम्पन्स सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स अबाउट कार्डिनालिटी एंड रेयर लेबल्स सो नाउ इट्स टाइम टू डिस्कस अबाउट लीनियर मॉडल एजम्पन्स सो लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज लीनियर मॉडल एजम्पन्स सो लीनियर मॉडल एजम्पन्स मेक्स द फॉलोइंग एजम्पन्स अबाउट इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स दैट इज लीनियर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द वेरिएबल एंड द टारगेट दैट मीन्स द एक्सेस एंड द वाइज y is the target and x is are the variables or the features multivariate normality has to be maintained right no or little collinearity that means correlation co is not there right and homoelasticity now this is very hard to pronounce so please bear with me i would not be able to pronounce it very well but still you get the idea right so now let's start with linear relationship so what we'll do is we'll actually get into the in depth of every single pointers right so let's start with the linear relationship first so linear relationship can act actually be judged by just a simple scatter plot like you can see this is a perfect linear relationship like right this is somewhat linear right that means any particular plot on a scatter plot when represented through a line is said to be a linear relationship that means if a line can actually meet a good fit to that particular plot that is actually a linear relationship right so this is somewhat linear this is actually perfectly linear this is somewhat linear the perfect line would be this but still this is somewhat linear right but this is actually not a linear relationship this is something else right so how do we actually decide that a particular line is fitting well it totally depends upon the error and the margin of error we are keeping in our threshold right then we'll come to the normality so normality is basically it means that the variables or the features actually follow a gaussian distribution right and normality can be accessed or just using histograms and using qq plots right so we'll be seeing in the future detailed sections how histograms and normality can actually be judged right and how it actually affects our complete data set right and actually how we can feature engineer joe's things right so you can see that this is a perfectly normal data set right this is somewhat linear this is somewhat normal i would say right this is actually a bell curve this is somewhat normal and this is actually a bit skewed you can see that this is actually a bit left wide skewed right so now let's talk about collinearity that means correlation between the data so correlation is it is defined as that one a particular variable changes what happens to the other variable right so if a weight and height are two different features so if weight changes what happens to the height or if height changes what happens to the weight right so there are two types of collinear behavior that is negative correlation and positive correlation right so like this is a plot which shows the collinear behavior it shows that it is going downwards that means it is actually negatively correlated in the plot would be going upwards this would be positively correlated right so for actually seeing the collinear behavior of all the features we actually use a heat map right or a matrix basically i would actually name it as a confusion matrix right so this is a confusion matrix which actually we will be seeing at later part of this course we will be using it heavily and we'll also be using it in our case study right because this is actually a very very important way to judge the correlation between the features right and i would like to mention that collinearity is important in feature engineering but it is also very important in feature selection so like if you are really interested in getting into detail of collinear behaviors please do refer to my uh, course on feature selection right so now we should get into homoelasticity right so this is actually hard to pronounce please bear with me so it is actually that the independent variable has the same infinite variance right so this is actually determined by a residual plot right a residual plot can actually show you that it has the same infinite variance at all levels right second non linear relation non linear transformations and feature scaling can actually improve this particular feature we'll be seeing how do we manage this particular uh, problem right and how do we actually cater it using 
different kinds of feature engineering techniques right as of now i'm just giving you a general idea of how things actually work right so this particular thing of homoelasticity is also called as the homogeneity of variance right that means similarity of variance in simple terms if i say right so now in the next video i'll talk about distribution of the data so see you in the next video